Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials uh, down 203, NASDAQ off 88, S&P's off 30. Let's go to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter. Now, the way you get the newsletter, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under the newsletters, and you're going to see it right at the top right-hand side. You hit the opening call, you hit subscribe, you can get Basil's newsletter for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $173, or 22%. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a savings of $541, or 35%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Check it out right on the front page of TFNN. You hit newsletters, you hit the opening call. Basil Chapman, what's going on? All right, Tom, how are you doing there? Well, I'll tell you, man, you talk about a little volatility, man. Holy cow. Uh, you know what's interesting, Tom? You say volatility now. There absolutely is, but I, I'm showing this chart. If you look at the middle chart, which is the weekly chart, we've been here for uh, the same the same level since uh, you know, April, May, June, and it depends where you want to go back. You can even go back to you know, February, March. So we, we're kind of at the same level, but absolutely, the, the trading band, you can see on this daily, where we were at 27,398 in the Dow on the 16th of July, yep. went down to 25,339 a month later, August the 15th, a month later, just a little less than a month, uh, the 12th of September, we're up at 27,306, 90 points away from the all-time high. And then we come back down to 25,743. So it's the volatility within a fairly small, historical, fairly small trading band. But absolutely, if you look at the candles of the monthly chart, you can see red, green, red, green. It's just every month is all. In fact, I just didn't realize this. Except when you go from December with a red candle, there were two green candles for January and February. But after that, every single month after that is green, red, green, red, oh, yeah. green. It you, just you alternates. Know, well, well, that's what I talk about. For you. you can make a case that, you know, We've been in the same place since January of 2018. Yes. You know, I mean, the S&P, you know, uh, bottom line was, uh, what, 24 points lower than we are now. <laughs> which, is, which is really interesting because through, through this whole gyration, what we have seen are corrections that have come about. For instance, the FANG stocks, uh, Facebook, yes. Alphabet, uh, let's call it Facebook, Apple, Amazon, uh, Netflix, and Google, They've been consolidating. Only Apple's close to its all-time high. The others are really they've been consolidating for since since the fall of last year. So what I wanted to show is this: that within the context of the patterns that we look at here in the Chapman Wave method, using the Chapman Wave methodology for subscribers to my opening call, we're always looking at the cup formation and the arch formation, and you just keep rotating through a cup and arch and cup and arch for forever. And sometimes you get a straight line move, and that's that has to be treated as something is a directional uh, a certainty that it's going up and up and up, well, down, 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 but then it stops and stalls and it stops this whole pattern of cups and arches. So what I, w I say to subscribers, you've got to be careful. We are very lucky we, we had shorted the Dow back in 16th of July, just off the top at 27,391, and the high was uh, 27,398. We took profits on the way down. There was this H pattern. They went to a, a U-shaped pattern. Runs back up to 27,306. So we went short at about 120 points off that high. We've, we remained short. And what I had said to subscribers to my opening call on Saturday, I sent out um, in my newsletter, I usually like to start preparing, sending out charts for the Monday um, opening call, um, all, all the uh, charts that normally would be sent every day. I started them in the weekend. And you, I put a little arrow, an up arrow here and an up arrow here. And what is this? This is the Dow Daily chart. I wrote a whole um, sort of pre C on, on what I was looking at. And I said the candle that was formed on Friday is it's uh, Morabonzu is, is it's it's a it's a pattern of a candle that has either no wick at all. It's either a big red candle or a big green candle with no wick. But I said it's it's like a, it's like 
it's that type of candle. It did have a little bit of a wick, but it, what it did is it rallied very sharply. So you're looking at the low that was made on, on the 7th of August. The very next bar has that big green candle. And then there's a tiny candle, and it comes down sharply. So I said, I think we're right here in the same situation. We've got that same candle on Friday. Tiny little wick, but mostly it was just open and closes. That's that's what you look at as the full candle. And I said, I'm anticipating that we're going to start to stall here and then have a, a pretty sharp drop. So I'll show you the candle that we've got now, the current candle. Let me just move this away. Oops, I just made a mistake. Let me move that away. Sorry. There you are. And here it is. So we've got, I'm going to go to a cleaner chart than this. So this is the candle. There's the oval pattern, the yellow oval. That was the first one in August, and here we are, and here we are with that down move today. So that's so what's matching here is that the, the patterns seem to be matching. I like that. What, what is important is that the MACD, the moving average convergence, divergence is still negative. Stochastic has rallied. It's not very strong. It's at about 40 percent, but it has rallied. So this is a very important period in the sense that I, I think that we've got a confluence of factors. We've got the Fed. We've got um, a China trade deal, which I, I think they're going to play hardball. That's just my guess right now. I don't see why they need to rush to make any uh, stand right now. So I think that we're in a tough situation just for at least for the next couple of weeks. And you can see that in the pattern of the weekly chart of the Dow, you've got this large arch, you've got a cup, then a smaller arch and a smaller cup, and now an even smaller arch. So we've got to be careful because you've got an acceleration now of the um, momentum of the arching and curving pattern. So that makes this base at about 25,700 really important to hold over the next week or so. If we take that out, then all of a sudden you're starting to impact the monthly and this can last a little longer. But I do think that we're in a, I call this consolidation phase. It's still rotational. We've been taking profits. We've also raised quite a bit of cash. We do have a long position that seems to be working quite nicely here, but <laughs> the day is young. Anything can happen. We're really looking to, we're just, I've said to subscribers, this is wait. There are gonna be a lot of buying opportunities. We'll get your chance. You don't have to rush. I do think we're looking at lower lows and lower highs, at least for the foreseeable future. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, there's no doubt that, you know, it, we have this news-driven market that's pretty wild, man. I mean, there's, you know, and the, the China... And, but it's the, the same. It's the same news. If you go back... It is. It is. It, it's nothing. Now, the bottom least. line is the way I look at it, folks, you, if you don't pay attention, you're great, okay? Because... We're not going to, my take is we're not getting a deal with China. Not even we're close. Not, we're not, we're yeah. not going to resolve it very quickly, for sure. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, and guess what, folks? You know, China sells to the rest of the world, too. They, I think the hand that the administration thinks they have, they don't have. That, that's the other side of it. Um, yeah, and you know. we, we don't really know, but yeah, I think it's getting it's getting a little harder. But I also wanted to just point out that I always like to look at Ds in the Chapman Wave methodology and at the fourth highest peak, other things can happen. I'm looking at the dollar. The dollar is actually having a nice session today. It did make a peak D in the daily chart at 99.46, but it's been holding support very well. I know. I won't give it the up, weekly, man. Right. Yeah, the weekly chart is an, in a leg D. It'll make a peak D if there's no new high. And so is the monthly leg D. So I'm watching this very closely with the dollar. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You go right under newsletters. You're going to see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, the opening call. You hit subscribe. You can get it for a month. You get it for six months. You can get it for a year. Check it out, folks. Basil, you have a great one. Safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.